Banking crimes have become more elaborate and it's scary how little personal information a criminal actually needs to hack into your banking profile and access your funds. And I'm sure we've all received that email or the text message informing you about the changes in banking details, either from a regular supplier or a random business. Now, Kalyani Pillay, the CEO of Sabric, is back with us again in studio to tell us about this changing bank details scam that seems to be making the rounds, as well as give us a bit of a tip of the week. So this is quite, it's a thing, it's actually called the changing bank details scam. Tell us more. It, it certainly is a scam and you know we've been seeing it for a long time and of course it comes in waves it comes and it goes when people start to become aware of it so really what it is is that the victim uh, is usually uh, you know either a person in, in a business or an individual who receives a communication purporting to come from a supplier that they actually owe money to and this communication whether by letter or by email mm -hmm. will say that they've changed the company's changed their bank account details and all future payments need to be made into this new bank account and of course the the what happens is that it, obviously if you're a victim you're already now you've obviously responded to mm -hmm. this so mm -hmm. we're saying to everybody please be aware because this is something that's quite prevalent that criminals are doing and there's a number of things that you can actually look out for um, don't ever make a payment uh, on any such request without verifying it. You know, it's re really so important to, to take note of that. Absolutely. So yeah. what are some of the methods that fraudsters are using more and more to try and gain access to our funds and our bank accounts? Well, look, the, you know, when it comes to the change of bank account uh, uh, details, they all, you must remember they already have access. They know who the suppliers are because they know who you need to pay. And that information they can acquire by various means. So, you know, either e hacked into your emails, mm -hmm. they do dumpster diving, they get into dustbins, which is one of the ways that they collect information. And that's why we say to all our clients, irrespective of whether you're a business or an individual, don't just squash bank accounts, don't just squash invoices when you have to pay people oh. and throw it into the bin. Shred it. They go into it. a literal bin yes. and oh, yes. pick out invoices. Oh yes, because we put our bins out uh, at the end of the you know the end of the day or early in the morning so that the refuse. And if they're at an office block, it probably well, is one of those yes. places where. Yes, and you so find that's why invoice. we say to businesses, you know, please, you've got to have shredders. Shred all of this. Uh, there's so, there's so many ways that they can actually uh, they harvest personal information, business information. But in the change of bank account scams. Often what they do is that they call the businesses beforehand or they call the, the, the payer beforehand and they say, look, you know, we, we just want to let you know that we're going to be changing your, our bank account. You'll receive a communication from us. And then, of course, they, they, they use that opportunity to get more information to make the communication more authentic. Now, some of the things we say to people that you need to look out for is mm -hmm. they change the address, the email address very slightly so that it makes you believe it's coming from who it's supposed to come yes. from. So as an example, if the email address ends with .co.za, which in most instances it would in South Africa, they would change it to .com. So everything else would stay the same, but our eye never goes on to that kind of thing. Final or they'll details. add one little alphabet to the name because you just see the email, you think it comes from the company that you're expecting it, so that it has to be authentic. And the important advice that we'd like to give to, to, to bank customers or to anybody really mm -hmm. is that whenever you receive a communication, whether by phone, email, letter, telling you that the company that you have to pay has changed their bank account details, mm -hmm. stop immediately. Don't just do that. Contact somebody in the company that you know of. So you need to develop relationships with people, especially if it's ongoing suppliers. Mm -hmm. Call them on a number that you have originally received from that company. Don't use any number or any contact detail that's in the communication itself because that means you're going to be contacting the perpetrator, the criminal, and of course they're going mm. to verify it. So, I mean, these are really things that, that you need to, to be aware of. And you know, again, I would encourage the listeners to go on to follow us on, on, on Facebook or Twitter, like our Facebook page, and wise up and watch out. Absolutely. There we go. And I think that's, is that your, your number one tip then of the week for us to, uh, yeah, well, actually give me your, your the, tip the, of the, the week. The tip for this particular scam is mm. don't ever pay out on, a re on such a request without making sure that you verify with someone that you know in that company. Mm -hmm. 
As simple as that. Thank you so, so much. We really do appreciate it. Uh, Kiliana Pillay, the CEO of Sabric, wising us up and uh, helping us all to watch out for these scamsters and fraudsters out there. Wise up, watch out.